सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर इलेवन मैंस्यूरेशन पेज नंबर वन एटी इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन सर्फिस एरिया ऑफ क्यूब क्यूबॉइड एंड सिलेंडर इमरान मोनिका एंड जसपाल आर पेंटिंग अ क्यूबॉइडल क्यूबिकल एंड अ सिलेंड्रिकल बॉक्स रिस्पेक्टिवली ऑफ सेम हाइट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन फिगर इलेवन पॉइंट टू एट फिगर इलेवन पॉइंट टू एट हेयर वी हैव अ क्यूबॉइड अ क्यूब एंड अ सिलेंडर दे ट्राई टू डिटर्मिन हु हैज पेंटेड मोर एरिया हरी सजेस्टेड दैट फाइंडिंग द सर्फिस एरिया ऑफ ईच बॉक्स वुड हेल्प दैम find it out to find the total surface area find the area of each face and then add the surface area of a solid is the sum of the areas of its faces to clarify further we take each shape one by one 11.7.1 cuboid suppose you cut open a cuboidal box and lay it flat observe figure 11.29 we can observe a net as given below in figure 11.30 figure 11.29 here we have the box of a paste it is cuboidal three sides are marked l b and h figure 11.30 here the box has been opened up it has been divided into six parts area 1 area 2 area 3 area 4 area 5 area 6 all the sides are marked either l or b or h write the dimension of each side you know that a cuboid has three pairs of identical faces what expression can you use to find the area of each face find the total area of all the faces of the box we observe that total surface area of a cuboid is area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3 plus area 4 plus area 5 plus area 6 is equal to h into l plus b into l plus b into h Plus L into H plus B into H plus L into B. Page number one eighty one. So, total surface area is equal to two. Bracket open. H into L plus B into H plus B into L. Bracket closed. Is equal to two. L B plus B H plus H L within brackets. where h l and b are the height length and width of the cuboid respectively suppose the height length and width of the box given above are 20 cm 15 cm and 10 cm respectively then the total surface area is equal to 2 bracket open 20 into 15 plus 20 into 10 plus 10 into 15 is equal to 2 300 plus 200 plus 150 within brackets is equal to 1300 meter square try these find the total surface area of the following cuboids observe figure 11.31 figure 11.31 Here we have a cuboid with sides six centimeter, four centimeter, and two centimeter. After that, we have a cuboid with sides four centimeter, four centimeter, and ten centimeter. The side walls, that is the faces excluding the top and bottom, make the lateral surface area of the cuboid. For example. the total area of all the four walls of the cuboidal room 
in which you are sitting is the lateral surface area of this room. Observe figure 11.32. Figure 11.32. Here we have a cuboid which has been opened up. The base and roof has been marked. Three sides L, B and H have been marked. Hence, the lateral surface area of a cuboid is given by 2 H into L plus B into H within brackets or 2 H L plus B within brackets. Do this. 1. Cover the lateral surface area of a cuboidal duster which your teacher uses in the classroom using a strip of brown sheet of paper such that it just fits around the surface. Remove the paper. Measure the area of the paper. Is it the lateral surface area of the duster? 2. Measure length, width and height of your classroom and find A. The total surface area of the room ignoring the area of windows and doors. B. The lateral surface area of this room. C. The total area of the room which is to be whitewashed. Think, discuss and write. 1. Can we say that the total surface area of cuboid is equal to lateral surface area plus 2 into area of base? 2. If we interchange the lengths of the base and the height of a cuboid, observe figure 11.33 1. To get another cuboid, observe figure 11.33 2. Will its lateral surface area change? Figure 11.33 1. Here we have a cuboid. The sides L, B and H have been marked. 2. Here we have the cuboid after the interchanges. Again, L, B and H have been marked. Page number 182 11.7.2 Cube Do this. Draw the pattern shown on a squared paper and cut it out. Observe figure 11.34 1. You know that this pattern is a net of a cube. Fold it along the lines. Observe figure 11.342 and tape the edges to form a cube. Observe figure 11.343. Figure 11.34. Here, a squared paper with a pattern has been connected to form a cube. Figure 11.34. One. Here we have a cube. All sides have been named L. 2. Here this same cube has been opened up. All the sides have been labelled L. A. What is the length, width and height of the cube? Observe that all the faces of a cube are square in shape. This makes length, height and width of a cube equal. Observe figure 11.35, 1. B. Write the area of each of the faces. Are they equal? C. Write the total surface area of this cube. D. If each side of the cube is L, what will be the area of each face? Observe figure 11.35, 2. Can we say that the total surface area of a cube of side L is 6L square? Try these. Find the surface area of cube A and lateral surface area of cube B. Observe figure 11.36. Figure 11.36. Here we have two cubes, one with all sides 10 cm, another with all sides 8 cm. Page number 183. Think, discuss and write. 1. Two cubes each with side B 
are joined to form a cuboid. Observe figure 11.37. What is the surface area of this cuboid? Is it 2B? Is the surface area of cuboid formed by joining three such cubes 18B? Why? Figure 11.37 First, we have two separate cubes with all sides B. Then these cubes are joined together. Then, the cuboid we got by joining them is divided into three equal parts. 2. How will you arrange 12 cubes of equal length to form a cuboid of smallest surface area? 3. After the surface area of a cube is painted, the cube is cut into 64 smaller cubes of same dimensions. Observe figure 11.38. How many have no face painted? One face painted, two faces painted, three faces painted. Figure 11.38. Here, we have a cube which has been cut into smaller cubes. 11.7.3 Cylinders most of the cylinders we observe are right circular cylinders. For example, a tin, round pillars, tube lights, water pipes, etc. Do this. 1. Take a cylindrical can or box and trace the base of the can on graph paper and cut it. Observe figure 11.39. 1. Take another graph paper in such a way that its width is equal to the height of the can. Wrap the strip around the can such that it just fits around the can. Remove the excess paper. Observe figure 11.392. Tape the pieces. Observe figure 11.393. Together to form a cylinder. Observe figure 11.394. What is the shape of the paper? that goes around the can. Figure 11.39 Here, we have the pictorial representation of the process described before. In the end, we have gotten a cylinder. Page number 184 Of course, it's rectangular in shape. When you tape the parts of this cylinder together, the length of the rectangular strip is equal to the circumference of the circle. Record the radius R of the circular base, length L and width H of the rectangular strip is 2 pi R is equal to length of the strip. Check if the area of rectangular strip is 2 pi R H. Count how many square units of the squared paper are used to form the cylinder. Check if this count is approximately equal to 2 pi r r plus h within brackets. 2. We can deduce the relation 2 pi r r plus h within brackets as the surface area of a cylinder in another way. Imagine cutting up a cylinder as given below. Observe figure 11.40. Figure 11.40. Here, a cylinder with height h and radius r has been cut from the middle. By doing so, we get a rectangle. One of the sides of the rectangle is 2 pi r. The other is h. Area is equal to pi r square plus area is equal to 2 pi r h plus area is equal to pi r square. The lateral or curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. The total surface area of a cylinder is equal to pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus pi r square is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h or 2 pi r r plus h within brackets. Note, we take pi to be 22 by 7 unless otherwise stated. Try these. Find total surface area 
of the following cylinders. Observe figure 11.41. Figure 11.41. First, we have a cylinder with height 8 cm, radius 14 cm. Then we have a cylinder with height 2 m and diameter 2 m. Think, discuss and write. Note that lateral surface area of a cylinder is the circumference of base into height of cylinder. Can we write lateral surface area of a cuboid as perimeter of base into height of cuboid? Example 4. An aquarium is in the form of a cuboid whose external measures are 80 cm into 30 cm into 40 cm. The base, side faces and back face are to be covered with a coloured paper. Find the area of the paper needed. Solution The length of the aquarium is equal to L is equal to 80 cm. Width of the aquarium is equal to B is equal to 30 cm. Page number 185 Height of the aquarium is equal to H is equal to 40 cm. Area of the base is equal to L into B is equal to 18 to 30 is equal to 2400 cm square. Area of the side face is equal to B into H is equal to 13 to 40 is equal to 1200 cm square. Area of the back face is equal to L into H is equal to 80 into 40 is equal to 3200 cm square. Required area is equal to area of the base plus area of the back face plus 2 into area of a side face within brackets is equal to 2400 plus 3200 plus 2 into 1200 within brackets is equal to 8000 cm square. Hence, the area of the colored paper required is 8000 cm square. Example 5. The internal measures of a cuboidal room are 12 meter into 8 meter into 4 meter. Find the total cost of whitewashing all four walls of a room if the cost of whitewashing is rupees 5 per meter square. What will be the cost of whitewashing if the ceiling of the room is also whitewashed? Solution. Let the length of the room is equal to L is equal to 12 meter. Width of the room is equal to B is equal to 8 meter. Height of the room is equal to H is equal to 4 meter. Area of the four walls of the room is equal to perimeter of base into height of the room is equal to 2 L plus B within brackets into H is equal to 2, 12 plus 8 within brackets into 4 is equal to 2 into 20 into 4 is equal to 160 meter square. Cost of whitewashing per meter square is equal to rupees 5. Hence, the total cost of whitewashing 4 walls of the room is equal to rupees 160 into 5 is equal to rupees 800. Area of ceiling is 12 into 8 is equal to 96 meter square. Cost of whitewashing the ceiling is equal to rupees. 96 into 5 is equal to rupees 480. So the total cost of whitewashing is equal to rupees 800 plus 480 is equal to rupees 1280. Example 6. In a building there are 24 cylindrical pillars. The radius of each pillar is 28 cm and height is 4 m. Find the total cost of painting the curved surface area of all pillars at the rate of rupees 8 per meter square. Solution Radius of cylindrical pillar R is equal to 28 cm is equal to 0.28 m. Height H is equal to 4 m. Curved surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi rh. Curved surface area of a pillar is equal to 2 
into 22 by 7 into 0 0.28 into 4 is equal to 7.04 meter square. Curved surface area of 24 such pillar is equal to 7.04 into 24 is equal to 168.96 meter square. Cost of painting an area of 1 meter square is equal to rupees 8. Therefore, cost of painting 1689.6 meter square is equal to 168.96 into 8 is equal to rupees 1351.68. Example 7. Find the height of a cylinder whose radius is 7 cm and the total surface area is 968 cm square. Solution. Let height of the cylinder is equal to h, radius is equal to r is equal to 7 cm, total surface area is equal to 2 pi r, h plus r within brackets. Page number 186. That is, 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 plus h within brackets is equal to 968, h is equal to 15 cm, hence the height of the cylinder is 15 cm. Exercise 11.3 1. There are two cuboidal boxes as given in the adjoining figure. Which box requires the lesser amount of material to make? First, we have a cuboidal box with sides 60 cm, 40 cm and 50 cm. B. Then we have a cubical box with all sides 50 cm. 2. A suitcase with measures 80 cm into 48 cm into 24 cm is to be covered with a tarpaulin cloth. How many meters of tarpaulin of width 96 cm is required to cover 100 such suitcases? 3. Find the side of a cube whose surface area is 600 cm square. 4. Ruxar painted the outside of the cabinet of measure 1 meter into 2 meter into 1.5 meter. How much surface area did she cover if she painted all except the bottom of the cabinet? Here we have the figure of a cabinet with the dimensions described before. 5. Daniel is painting the walls and ceiling of a cuboidal hall with length, breadth and height of 15 meter, 10 meter and 7 meter respectively. From each can of paint, 100 meter square of area is painted. How many cans of paint will she need to paint the room? 6. Describe how the two figures at the right are alike and how they are different. Which box has larger lateral surface area? First, we have a cylinder with diameter 7 cm and height 7 cm. Then, we have a cube with all sides 7 cm. 7. A closed cylindrical tank of radius 7 m and height 3 m is made from a sheet of metal. How much sheet of metal is required? 8. The lateral surface area of a hollow cylinder is 4224 cm square. It is cut along its height and formed a rectangular sheet of width 33 cm. Find the perimeter of rectangular sheet. 9. A road roller takes 750 complete revolutions to move once over to level a road. Find the area of the road if the diameter of a road roller is 84 cm and length is 1 m. 10. A company packages its milk powder in cylindrical container whose base has a diameter of 14 cm and height 20 cm. 
company places a label around the surface of the container as given in the figure. If the label is placed 2 meter from top and bottom, what is the area of the label? Here we have the diagram of a powdered milk box with dimensions described before. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. And this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.